Our performance today against Preston North End was as dull as the Mancunian weather. We played awful. It was dire, ugly and frankly, I was super unimpressed with our inability to make easy work of a team that is a couple of leagues below us. It should have been so much easier. And yes, we did win 3-1 and that sounds like a convincing win on paper. But call me crazy, I wanted us to dominate all areas and be more convincing and more clinical. We just simply weren't. But we won, and boy am I glad we did. Otherwise, the haters, aka the Scousers, City and the rest of the fans would have all been out in their numbers, jumping on the Man United lost to Preston bandwagon. But hey, we won, so I'm glad. We're into the quarters, and that's all that matters. We play Arsenal at Old Trafford, uh, and this will be our platform to derail Arsenal's season, as every year around February, March, they tend to fall away. So we'll knock them out of the FA Cup. And then we'll steal their fourth place trophy and dance to the tune of the The Wenger boys are coming. Na, 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 na. Anyways, moving swiftly along. There were some positives today, probably a couple. Uh, Ander Herrera scoring and playing relatively decent. Not blinding, but he did put in a shift and scored a decent goal. So maybe he's given Van Gaal some food for thought, especially with um, the game against Swansea. I really hope he starts. The big man, Marwan Fellaini, scoring yet again. And an important goal, might I add, you know. Um, he does exactly what the team need him to do. To compete, win headers, make himself a real pain in the backside and nuisance for the opponents. And I felt he did that, you know. So that will be good for him, you know. And scoring is always a Brucey bonus. But the biggest positive today was super sub, Ashley Young. Who is this man? He's been an absolute revelation all season. Someone who knows his Manchester United career is on the line, especially when Louis was installed as boss. And you have to give it to him. You have to give him credit because he stepped up and performed big time. So fair play, Ash. Negatives from today. Apart from the poor performance and Rooney's dive. Yeah, it was definitely a dive. It has to be Falcao. I think every United fan really wants him to succeed. And to be honest, I think he's a shadow of himself. He's lacking that confidence, that, that, that one or two yard of pace that he used to have. He just looks increasingly under pressure, which I guess is understandable after his injuries and poor form. I just really hoped he'd score uh, you know, a bucket full uh, of goals tonight, but unfortunately he didn't. And to be honest, it's not all his fault. One can argue that the service was poor again, we as the team lack width and the crossing ability that he would normally thrive on. So I don't want to be overly harsh on him or critical because I, I do think things conspired against him. Also, kind of, maybe this is not a massive uh, negative, but I think not playing Paddy McNair and Pereira were negatives in my opinion because I feel as if we need to blood in the youth uh, into important games like this, you know. So it's a great opportunity for them to learn and kind of really know what it feels like to play for Manchester United in big games. But hey, on to the quarterfinals, so we can't complain too much. Oh, by the way, I want to give a shout out to Bradford City. Well done, you crazy gits. Oi, oi. Well done, chaps, and uh, I hope you beat Reading in the next round. Okay, guys, agree, disagree, or couldn't give a monkey's. Get your comments in, and hopefully Louis van Gaal will play Herrera against the Swans. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and please like me on Facebook. Subscribe, subscribe.